David, you know, this whole messaging thing, I think it really got uh, hyped up on the Greenspan, and it's only, you know, they've only been more accommodative with their comments. I remember the FOMC meeting used to be one, you know, every other one was like just one day. Uh, do you think it's time to hear less from Fed officials rather than so much talking? You know, I guess the difference, Charles, that I would point out between the Greenspan days and now is, yes, Greenspan became a very vocal and present kind of celebrity Fed chair, but we didn't hear as much from other FOMC members, where now you have Powell in the Greenspan role, but then you hear all the time from other FOMC members, some of which are not even voting members of the committee. And frankly, I think that creates more mixed messaging because a lot of people out there seem to believe these other Fed governors actually can make a difference. This is a very heavy, uh, chair-heavy Fed. The Fed director from yeah. Greenspan to Bernanke has always been able to, to kind of run the show, and that is no different now. And yet what you get is everyone making headlines out of other governors talking. Sometimes Kashkari is the worst of all of them, really talking just to kind of build their own celebrity. <laughs> Let's switch to Washington, D.C. President Biden heading down there. I think he's going to do some arm twisting. I don't know if he's going to use carrot and stick or both. Uh, you know, uh, but, but here's the thing, David. Um, it, it, we've gone from this sort of tug of war within the Democratic Party to hand-to-hand -hand combat. Where, where, where do you think this is going to handicap ultimately what we get maybe over the weekend? What kind of spending bill do we get? What kind of infrastructure bill do we get? I think we end up getting what I've been predicting all along, which is a reconciliation spending bill that is nowhere near what they said it was going to be in its price tag or in its uh, tax increase impact, and that they do get that infrastructure bill done. I would put that at a little over 50%, but not at 100%. There's still a chance of the progressives blowing this thing up. But at this point, the, it's advantage moderates. They definitely mm -hmm. now uh, kind of have the sway of that release of that mansion memo yesterday that Schumer signed on. I still don't understand what he was signing, like why Schumer felt the need to sign this document. But they are in a civil war. And ultimately, they're just going to try to get any cosmetic victory they can. And that's the state of the Democratic Party right now.